and welcome back to the Elevate Legal series. It's now time for phase three, which speaks for itself, examination. If you've had an Elevate seminar, you know that exam prep is all about one thing, getting through as many past exams as possible. Elevate's research shows that the biggest determinant of success in a subject is simply the number of past papers you did. Put simply, the more papers you do, the better you'll do. Full stop. And for those wondering, there is no such thing as too many papers. So your job right now is to write down specifically how many papers you're going to do before your exam. Once you've decided on the number, go to the site linked below and print them off and put them on your desk. It's important that you print them because having them on the desk will be a constant reminder that they need to get done. In fact, pause the video now and print them off. Then tune back to see how to attack them. Great, now that you have your practice exams printed and ready to go, let's talk about how to do them. Firstly, you'll want to divide your papers into three equal groups. So if you chose to do nine past papers, you'll split them into groups of three. As you'll see in the exam planner, the first three papers should be done open book, open time. Those papers can be done with your notes in front of you and completely at your own pace. This will allow you to properly learn and further consolidate the information. The second set of papers should be done closed book, but still open time, meaning that you can't have any resources in front of you, but you can still take your time completing it. This is designed to test your familiarity with the info and to help you identify which areas require more attention. Finally, do the last three under exam conditions. Turn your phone off, sit in a quiet place and simulate exam conditions as much as possible. Beyond completing the exams, Elevate's research showed that the best students had strong feedback loops in place. That is, they ensured that every past paper was marked and they learned how specifically to fix their errors. A great way to implement this is using exam study groups. You and two or three friends decide to do an exam paper in your own time. You then meet up and mark each other's papers using the examiner's report. Marking a friend's paper helps you to step into the shoes of the examiner and learn how to identify a really strong answer. You then exchange papers back with the people and discuss it. Marking each other's papers inevitably leads to discussion because you'll need to justify why you took marks off their paper. This, in turn, will force you to explain topics and really bring the subject to life. This method is not only great for solidifying your knowledge, but it also breaks up the monotony of studying alone at your desk all day. Once you've got your exam back from your teacher or your study group, you still need to take one last step. You need to implement their feedback. That's why it's called a feedback loop. I've given you a template to help you with implementation. It's called a bulletproof booklet and it works as follows. In column one, write in the name of the exam. In the second column, rewrite the question where you lost your marks. Then, in column three, write in the topic of the course that it relates to. Column four asks you to identify why you got it wrong. Really look for the reason that you lost marks in that question. And finally, you'll want to write in the correct answer in the final column. In this way, you have a booklet or table that is dedicated to identifying your weaknesses, showing you why you got something wrong and exactly how to fix it. So there's three overall steps here. Do the paper, get it marked by your teacher or study group, and fill in the bulletproof booklet. If you use this process for each paper, you'll see your marks improve dramatically. Your action for this video is simply to print off the bulletproof booklet, and if you haven't already, print all the exams you intend on doing. Also, have a go at answering one of those practice exams, open book and open time. Then head to the next episode to see how to attack exam questions. <laughs>